we're, we're just trying to get by. I don't know why they want to just make it harder on us. You park, you burn. A threatening message targeting those living in RVs along a busy Portland street. And tonight, police are taking notice. Yeah, those signs popped up along Northeast Lombard near the overpass at 33rd. It's where neighbors say in the past they've seen plenty of RVs. Our Cole Miller in the neighborhood. He spoke with neighbors and a woman living in an RV. He joins us with the latest in this crime alert. Cole? Well, simply put, she calls these threats flat out frightening. She has nowhere else to go. She's actually parked her RV on this very stretch of road. As for those signs, they were put up on power poles just like this one. They've since been taken down, now stored away in police evidence. Sorry that you hate us so much. I don't know why you hate us so much. A cigarette in hand, sitting on the step to her RV. This is your home. This if you is were to my lose home. This. Sharon, who asked we not show her face. We're not bad people. Says she's just trying to make it, taking life one day at a time. I barely survived, period. We found her off Northeast Lombard, not far from where this sign and another one just like it showed up overnight. A neighbor snapping this pic. It reads, RV, you park, you burn. It's scary, scary, scary. It really is. I've seen a trailer fire and they're damaging yeah. and it's devastating. Just last month in southeast Portland, flames tore through this RV. The man inside telling Coin6 two men intentionally set it on fire. They don't have any anywhere else to go. Back at Lombard, Raphael Howe lives right by where those signs were put up. He says it's been at least a month or so since any were parked right here. Some of the trash still left behind. He's sympathetic to those with no other option and says it's up to all of us to tackle this housing problem we're in. With all the resources and all the the money that we we waste and on a lot of stuff, you know, we could be taking better care of our homes here. And an arson investigator with Portland Fire took the signs. They'll be tested for fingerprints. We're told there are no current arson investigations in this neighborhood. Sharon hopes it stays that way. I just don't want to be burned out, and I'm not going to go down that way. As for police, officers tell me they'll be stepping up patrols in this area. Live tonight in Northeast Portland, Cole Miller, Coin 6 News. Yeah, a story we'll continue to follow closely. Cole, thank you.